In this video, I will show you how to work with the 3D pen avatar and edit 3D pen avatar. So let's open up a um, avatar of your choice. You can do whatever you like, men, women, kids, whatever you like. So I'm going to open Feifei, went to version 2, and um, I will close my library to have more workspace. And I'm going to align my 2D pattern window, which we'll not really need at this point. We'll need it later when we generate the 3D patterns. So let's just work with the avatar right now. So let's go to the 3D pen avatar. You can see that's the edit 3D pen avatar and below it, it's the 3D pen avatar. So this one has a little bodies on it. And the one that we work on flat garments has the t-shirt on it. So let's click on the 3D pen avatar. And that tool is now in our hand. So right now we have a naked body in front of us. And with this pen tool, we can start drawing whatever we like on the figure. And one thing, uh, if you don't have any guidelines, if you would like to have some center front or other guidelines, you could come in and turn on, uh, come to this tool here, the avatar display, and you can turn on, for example, the measurements. That will give you some guidance lines for center front, for center back, um, any kind of uh, shoulders or um, anything that you might like. So you can utilize these lines to give you better uh, guidance of where your lines are. So you can keep them on or you can turn them off. Exa again, they're here on the avatar display and you can um, turn on show avatar measurements. Also keep in mind that you do need to have the show 3D pen avatar turned on. Otherwise, you're not going to see any of the lines that you're going to draw right now. So make sure that that is turned on. So let's uh, give ourselves some guidelines to begin with. So I'm going to start with the center front. So I'm left clicking on the front and then you can follow the line. If you want a perfectly straight line, just hold the shift and that will not let you uh, move away from a straight line. So I'm going to come below the belly, let's say right here. And if you're ready to finish, you can double click. So I actually clicked a couple of times. So left click once to start left double click to end. So I'm also going to go to the back into the center back line. So left click once to start and whenever you're finished, you can left double click. So notice that I went below this line on both sides. That's because um, with the 3D pen avatar, you can crisscross lines um, and you can snap directly onto the line that you've drawn. Now, again, the guidelines that you have, they're black and the lines that we're drawing are black. So that might become a little confusing. But what you can do is you can draw your main lines, for example, center front, center back, maybe a shoulder line, um, and then you can um, deactivate them. So I'm going to do my shoulder line too. I just click the second time so I can finish that line. And if you need any kind of other lines, for example, a short sleeve or a mid elbow or a wrist, you can indicate those two. So I will actually turn this off because it's too many lines. So that's the 3D measurement and make sure that the 3D pen lines are visible. So from here on now, you can start designing your own uh, lines, whatever you like. So I'm just going to do some uh, freehand design. Keep in mind, whatever you draw here, this is going to stay really close to the body. So that's good for close fitting uh, garments, but then you can go to the 2D pattern window and you can um, create whatever lines you like and you can change the fit of the garments. So for here, keep in mind that you click once. Next time I click, that will be a straight line. So once I click on a line, it will close. You don't need to double click when you're coming to a line. And just like in draping, we're going to do just half of the um, outfit and then we're going to duplicate it with symmetric sewing on the other side. So let's say that's our V-neck and I'm going to come also on this side and finish off my line here. 
If you want to do a curve point, hold the command key on a Mac or control and that will give you a curve point. Come to the line that you've done, to, to the line that you crisscross and it will automatically finish that line. So let's add some uh, beautiful lines here. So also for an armhole, it's good to finish and do the whole armhole instead of creating um, dimensional patterns, clicking, clicking around and getting it. It's better to just go all the way around the armhole and then designate the front and the back piece. So I'm going to start from here. I want a nice close fitted set in sleeve. And again, if you want a curve point, hold the command key, then click and then it will curve the point for you. So. I didn't put my side seam, but that should be somewhere right there. So I'm just going to continue. You can zoom in. As long as you have a left click, you can zoom in or move right click and move your avatar. That's fine. Holding command, left clicking for the next curve. And I'm going to finish. Now, if you're not perfectly happy with your line, we can edit that um, later, or just so you know, you can also come to the Edit 3D Pen Avatar. And once you right click, left click away to deselect everything, you can right click on a particular segment or on a point. So this I want to make more curved, so I'm going to right click on it and add a curve point. Again, yeah, right click and add a curve point, and it will add the curve point wherever you clicked. So now you can grab this point and you can move and edit your line. And if you want, you can also right click on the previous point and delete it. And I am much happier with this particular curve. Notice that I have orange or reddish points and black points. All of these points, wherever you click, become segment points. But the orange points are curve points and the black points are regular segment points. So again, I'm going to also with the 3D pen avatar. I'm also going to just create my sight seam and I do want to be and you can hold the shift key here so you're doing a straight line but that's actually I think moving it away so I'm happy with this and I'm going to double left click to finish that. So now I'm going to work on my front pattern piece. Notice how when I come to a line, I just, all I have to do is left click once and that will finish that line. I'm going to make a second pattern piece here. And that will be my design for the front. And now I want to close the bottom. So if you want to hold the shift key, it will give you a straight line right across. And you can just use that and then come and click on the side seam. And if it curved it in any way that you didn't like, you can always come to the edit avatar, 3D pen avatar, right click on the line and add a curve point um, or delete a certain point as you like. So I am fine with this line right now. So I'm just going to do my back. And again, I'm going to click on this point because I do want to match with the front. And then I'm going to click hold the shift to give me a straight line. It doesn't matter that it's not clicking exactly on that line. So here I got uh, the straight line was actually the straightest line was actually a little higher and above her uh, butt here. So I'm just going to come to the 3D avatar, a uh, 3D pen avatar, and I'm going to add a curve point so I can move this to my liking. Move the line let it go and now that's fine with me and if you want to add any additional pattern pieces here you can do that with the 3d pen again i'll add a couple of more pattern pieces i'll match one here just for fun i'm gonna hold the command key to create a curve So that's going to be my pattern pieces for now. Whenever you finish, inspect your pattern pieces and decide if anything is um, not quite perfect. You can come to the Edit 3D Pen Avatar 
and move or delete or add points wherever you like so for example i feel like this is actually curving up a little bit too much so i'm gonna click on this point i'm gonna hold the shift so that will allow me to go straight line and move it down and that looks a little better to me and you can change and move whatever you like again if you want certain line to be uh, curvier you can right click on that line for example my v neck line seems a little too straight so i'm just gonna uh, right click with the edit pen at a curve point and once i have my curve point i can curve the shape release it and you get the new shape and again with the edit 3d pen tool you can also grab a point move it I'll hold the shift if you want a straight line and change it however you like once you're happy with the lines the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to also flatten a straight line and we're going to do that for all of the lines that we want to make sure that they're straight so i want to make sure that my center front line i did it with the shift holding shift so i know it's straight but if you didn't do that you want to make sure your lines are straight so knowing any of the even if it's just a section for example if i want this section to be perfectly straight i can select that and flatten it so i'm holding the shift key and with the edit 3d pen avatar selecting all of the lines that i want to be straight so that's this one this one still holding the shift and it will select all of these segments and even this one so all of these lines that i want to be straight once you select them right click and flat flattening a straight line so it's simply going to flatten those lines and when you click away you'll see that those lines are now a thicker black that means that those lines have been flattened so do that for everything you need to do edit all the lines or curves or anything else that you like to do and when you finish with the design make sure that all of your lines are connected and that you have actual pattern pieces there and now we're going to utilize the next tool that is called flatten flatten will allow us to create flat pattern pieces from the design that we just created in the 3d shape so let's open up both windows so that we can see how this happens so in the 3d window you want to select all of the make sure that you're in the flatten tool and take a look at the writing select all areas to be flattened then press enter and that's all we have to do but we'll press return on a mac instead of enter so all you have to do is click somewhere inside of the pattern pieces and the trick here is if you select just one pattern piece and click return it will generate that pattern piece for you but it will generate an individual independent pattern piece and that's fine if that's all you want but what we want to do at this point what i would like to show you is that if you select all of the pattern pieces so hold shift and select all of the pattern pieces that you want and when you have all of them just take a look around make sure you have everything and now click return or enter it will not only generate all of the pattern pieces but it will also sew them together so it always kind of throws them around randomly but it's very easy to figure out which one is which make sure that in the 2d window you have transform pattern tool or a in it and when you click so here i will also get the select move tool when you click on a pattern piece in the 3d window it will highlight which pattern piece that is and we can arrange them so i'm just going to move them a little bit and again i'm going to click on the background to deselect and now top front piece is this one so this one so i'm just going to grab it and move it and i'm going to zoom in a little bit and also i know that's my center front seam so i'm also going to rotate it a little bit and then position it where it needs to be this is the next pattern piece okay i can see that that's this pattern piece next one is this one for the front so i'm going to move this one here i'm going to change a little bit rotate my avatar and now i want this pattern piece that's this particular segment now this is for my back and then this is my center back so I'm just going to rotate that a little bit. Straighten it. And now this is my back panels. So these are my pattern pieces. And we haven't simulated. But if I am to simulate, you will see that they get stitched together. I'm actually going to undo. Another way you can see it is 
click on the edit sewing tool and you will see that you have sewing lines all around so that is perfect because you don't have to stitch or sew anything it is already stitched for you the one thing that we need to do in the 2d window is we need to generate the other side of the garment so with the pattern transform pattern tool i'm gonna select my front pieces right click and under clone pattern with linked editing i will select symmetric pattern with sewing so i'm cloning my pattern getting my other front pieces and i'm going to do the same thing for the back again clone pattern with linked editing select the symmetric pattern with sewing and just place it on the other side that generated all of my pattern pieces now they're linked with editing obviously if you want to do asymmetric design you can always come in and select all of the pattern pieces or only the pattern pieces that you want to unlink so for example let's say i want to do something asymmetric just on this top part left click on one hold shift left click on the other one then right click and choose remove linked editing you see now that they're not in blue anymore so you know that you can do asymmetric design and any point any time you can also come back well if you haven't done asymmetric design so you want to choose under apply linked editing you want to choose symmetric pattern with sewing so that will link them back together but once you apply asymmetric designs then you can't really uh, link them back because they're not symmetric anymore so this one got thrown away pretty far so i'm going to come back and just bring it closer make sure that it is behind her and then i'm going to come and bring it closer and now i can bring it even closer to her to make it easier and now i can click simulate so the only thing that wasn't stitched was the center front and we can easily do that with the segment sewing tool and then the back so back with back and let's make sure that everything is done correctly this time and i stitched the bottom but i didn't stitch the top the back is perfect and if you want to uh, keep the front with a slash or a slit that's fine if you want to stitch them together have the segment tool in your hand and just stitch it together simulate and now you have this top closed so that was utilizing the 3d pen avatar and then editing with the 3d pen edit 3d pen avatar and we also utilized flatten in order to create the flat patterns from the drawing that we did on the 3D avatar.